Well, imagine being able to detect breast cancer years before it develops. It sounds like a hope for the future, doesn't it? But it's actually a reality of today that many don't know about. And joining us with a look at this life-saving technology is Dr. Philip Getson. He's a board-certified thermologist. Welcome. Nice to have you Good here. Good morning. Now, if you've never heard of a thermologist and you're wondering what is that, help us understand because there are about 700 of you out there, right? Correct. Thermography is infrared imaging. We're using infrared technology to absorb the body's heat, convert it into patterns that I as an interpreter can look at and make a determination as to whether something is normal or not normal. Since the human body gives off heat, it should do so symmetrically, meaning that the left side of the body and the right side of the body should be the same. Mm -hmm. If they are, we consider that to be normal. If they're not, then we consider it to be abnormal and then we get into the interpretation of what that abnormality may be. A lot of times when there is um, an abnormal uh, growth or something that's happening, um, as you and I were, were talking earlier, more blood would go to that area for growth, whatever kind of growth it is. That's right. The way the human body works is to send blood supply to an area where something is happening, whether that happening is malignant or cancerous or benign or non-cancerous. The body wants to rid itself of that entity, and so the way to do that is to send blood cells there, supply circulation, and try and heal naturally. And instead, a lot of times what happens is whatever that is, is growing. It's growing and it's, it's overwhelming to the body and therefore the body can't handle it, which is why we must intervene. When the body detects growth and the blood vessels go, there's an increase in heat. When there's an increase in heat, we can see that with infrared imaging. Okay. So this technology has actually been around since after World War II. For, about for industrial reasons since the second world war and in medical reasons since the late 1950s okay but we really don't use it we we use mammograms we use mammograms part. okay why well mammography was established at the goal as the gold standard uh, the radiologists that read mammograms believe that it's the best diagnostic tool mm -hmm. uh, I don't necessarily agree with that based upon the fact that cancer has doubled in the past 10 years we're not uh, catching it like we're we not can. catching it like we should there are too many false uh, negative mammograms too many people showing up in offices with lumps that aren't being picked up even when the lump is found okay and I think we need to do anything we can to find it early because 95 percent of, of this is curable if you find it early early let's take a look at some of the pictures that you brought in with you so we can see some before and after and what we're really looking at here start um, first of all with with your side over there when, when we do uh, thermographic imaging we do it in color and in black and white mm -hmm. the color is obviously much easier to see and as you can see right here, you've got areas of mostly green and orange and a hot area under the armpit, which we would expect, and a much cooler area on the opposite side. The temperature scale is on this side. So this area here being so significantly warmer than its counterpart on the other side suggests that there's an ongoing process. Okay. The same is true of these other areas. These circled areas are done by the computer with my assistance so that we can generate temperatures. The same is true on the black and white. Here, however, we're looking at blood vessel patterns that may exist, uh, and the blood vessels in themselves are meaningful. When you get to the outside there and you see that very dark area, that's a vascular pattern that suggests, in addition to this, that there's pathology of some type. Okay, we're going to continue with the next uh, pictures, but I, uh, a couple questions I have for you. So let's say that you do find that area there in the armpit that could be suspect. Do you have to then go in with a different type of technology to do a biopsy and things, or do you just keep monitoring that? It will depend upon the significance of it based upon temperature asymmetry in the patient's history. If we know, for example, that the patient had uh, prior surgery there because they're made, that would be one way to look at it. If there was never any prior history, a separate way to look at it. And so what I do in a phone conference with each patient after the study is completed is I offer them recommendations. I offer to speak directly with the physician that's taking care of them. It's not my job to, to tell them what to do. What but to really, recommend. if we're doing this, we're, let's say we're doing this once a year, would that be? We, we do the first two closer together to establish a baseline. Okay. If it's normal, we do it annually. If it's not normal, more frequently as we would do with other studies. And then you would watch as, as any of that comes up or doesn't come up. Sure, because the second time you're comparing it to the first. The first you're sort of comparing to yourself. And can you tell any level of how advanced something is by that? No, you can just tell that there is the existence of some abnormality that is ongoing in the body. Okay, interesting. Wow, that's, that's good stuff. And uh, there are about 700 uh, thermologists throughout the country, but 
there, I, I'm not sure there's one in Delaware. You are from Pennsylvania. You service New Jersey as well. I'm from New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, we service Pennsylvania and Delaware and New York, actually. Um, there are about 700 nationwide by guests, but this is a worldwide technology. There are yeah. thermographic societies all over the world. Dr. Getson, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. That was interesting. Thank you for inviting nice me. Nice to have you here. Greg.